the patient may assume that he hasn't performed the movement in the proper way. So he can repeat certain movements and he can repeat and repeat without finding the suitable control. So to do and perform one prayer might take a very long time and might make him very anxious because this is something special for him. It is between him and his Lord. So it is difficult to accept that the prayer is not perfect. Traditionally, a patient with OCD will be advised by his therapist to sign up for a behavior therapy session. The number of these sessions is usually limited and they are meant for a small group of people. This results in a long wait time. In addition, the patient cannot participate on more than one session and he has to perform the behavioral therapy exercises on his own at home. The prayer aid for OCD is meant to solve these issues. The system basically consists of the prayer observer which recognizes the behavior of the patient during his prayers and an online service to deliver the behavior observed by the system to his therapist. As a result, the patient can perform their exercises by doing the prayers at home without the need to attend these sessions. Also, the therapist can have more patients to diagnose and keep track of their progress remotely. We thought of different ideas to detect prayer movements in a way that is convenient for the patient and accurate at the same time. For the patient's convenience, we decided to avoid wearable sensors such as bracelets and so on. We agreed to use only a camera that the patient can place in front of him and start painting. We took this challenge and we started digging in what we call computer vision and machine learning. We started by using a normal camera like the one that is found in every laptop with well-known computer vision algorithms. However, with intensive testing that our team conducted, we found that this approach didn't satisfy our purpose and the level of accuracy that we wanted and committed ourselves to. We found that our key is to use three-dimensional camera, where it sees the environment not as flat image, but as dots arranged in a 3D environment. In other words, by knowing the exact distances of each object, we can calculate a skeletal model of any human in that frame by running it through a random forest classifier, which classifies each object or each pixel as being a body part or background. We thought of these 3D cameras that are used in video games such as Microsoft Kinect for detecting the gestures of the players to control games. So we asked ourselves, can we take advantage of, the, of its powerful hardware and its capabilities to adapt it for such a good cause which is human health? So we integrated the Kinect camera with our system and we built our own database that helps to recognize the different main prior postures in a more accurate and convenient way. Regardless of what you are wearing and in what lighting condition you are in. Thanks to infrared sensor that engages when the primary camera cannot see in the dark. The service that we will provide along with observing the patient's behavior during brain is to deliver this raw information to his therapist wherever he is and whenever he needs it in order to diagnose and monitor his behavior. We created an online service for the therapist to keep track of his patient progress with a simple interface. Preserving the patient privacy is a high priority. To achieve that, all the patient details including his name and contact information will be encrypted so that only his therapist can view it. We looked for the most reliable authentication techniques used by large corporates such as Google and found that two-factor authentication is an effective way which adds a second method of identity verification. First, something you know, your password, and then something you have, which is your phone. Combining the two methods, a strong password and one-time code sent to your phone will ensure the identity of the therapist. We enhance the security with HTTPS protocol which encrypts the communication channel between the therapist browser and our server.